What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Colchester, Connecticut at Southern New England Modular Homes and we're getting ready to check out a super cool modular home. Definitely fitting for this area, I think. But anyway, let me turn you around and I will tell you all about it. All right, so this big old two-story colonial is of course called the two-story colonial. It is by PBS, which is Professional Building Systems out of Pennsylvania. It has this quintessential kind of colonial look to it. Nice, soft, green, kind of a mossy green vinyl siding with uh, white trimmed windows looking really good. It is a three bedroom, two and a half bath, and that all sits inside of approximately 2,015 square feet. And as we're going to be touring it today, it is approximately $229,000. Now, of course, that price may or may not be the price that you pay if you decide to make this home yours. I am definitely not a salesman nor affiliated with any of the homes that I showcase here on the channel. However, if you do want any information that I obtain, I will leave that information for you in the description and also over at timothyplivingston.com where you can search for both this model and all the models that we've toured across the country to see if they are built in your area. Coming around to the back though, uh, plenty of windows back here also. And then one of the cool things is that there's actually two sliding glass doors. One comes out of the dining room back here and then the other comes out of like a little den area. This home has like two living rooms one would be like a family room i guess and the other one would be more so like a, a formal uh, sitting area but without further ado let's go ahead and go inside all right so when you first walk in this is the view that you were greeted with immediately you have this nice foyer right here and then off to the right you have your formal sitting room go ahead and turn it around and let you see the entrance this is your front door nice vinyl floors right here on the landing and then you do have a set of stairs going up to all of the bedrooms up top but we'll go ahead and show off the foyer real quick you have a nice coat closet right here as soon as you walk in so plenty of room in here. Actually, probably one of the bigger coat closets that we've seen in a while. And this actually wraps all the way around into the kitchen, which is nice. So you can have your guests come straight into the kitchen where they can sit in this nice, lovely living room. You got the gas logs over here. The nice stone surround, very big living room. I love the accents on either side with the shelves kind of recessed. You have these fun arches right here and they even have some accent lights shining down onto your shelves. And then again, the stone surround on the fireplace. Mount you a nice big TV up above it. And then you have the same kind of decorative shelves on the other side also. And then from the living room, we transition into the dining room, which has this massive tray ceiling up here. Really nice. Nice little chandelier hanging down over the top of your table. And then you do have a sliding glass door right behind it. I think this is something we've been looking for for a while where it's kind of, you know, it, it doesn't everything has its own space you know what i mean it's not wide open and definitely can't see the kitchen from the front door i know a lot of y'all love that so off of the dining room you do have your kitchen so plenty of counter space in here we'll go ahead and start with your island get you a nice beautiful countertop to put right here and then of course you have the drawers obviously you can see them I just like opening them soft close which is cool then you have your pantry in here conveniently located next to you know the, the island would be a perfect little prep spot and then next to that you have a little tinier counter space puts you some appliances there and then you have some cabinets up above that room for your refrigerator you have stove range hood and then i like the recessed lights right here kind of going around again like a bulkhead 
very nice. Your stainless sink looking out these beautiful windows into your backyard, they are crank out. So you can get some, some nice breeze flowing through here. Next to that, you do have your dishwasher and then just more and more cabinets. So a really nice layout for this kitchen. And then as we start working our way down the hall towards your great room, you do have a door right here, it's locked, but this would be access down to your basement if you had a basement, but if you had a crawl space, you could just use this as storage. And then around the corner, you do have a linen closet right here. And then this is your half bath downstairs, which is convenient. You do have single vanity right here, nice medicine cabinet, and then your toilet. But that way nobody has to go and snoop around up in your in the bedroom area. And then from there you come into the great room. You do have a sliding glass door right here behind us, but just kind of a cozy place to kind of hang out, kick on some, some TV and just enjoy spending some time with the family, you know what I mean? But really cool. And then you do have, so this is a different section kind of, if you remember seeing the outside, you do have a little bit of attic access right here for some extra storage. And then from here, we'll start working our way upstairs. Now, as we work our way upstairs, this is where all of your bedrooms are. And once we get up here, you have a nice landing. You have your first full bathroom. You have single vanity right here. Again, another nice medicine cabinet. And then you have a shower and tub combo, your toilet, the window up here is crank out. So that is nice, let all that steam out. And I wanted to show you back down the stairs because I saw this as I was walking back down. You do got a little shelf right there for some nice decorations. And then right next to the bathroom, you do have a linen closet right here. And then into the first of the three bedrooms. This one sits almost right over the front door, right at the front of the house. So really nice size room in here. And then you have, oh, a little deeper closet than I was expecting. I like the surprises, you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, anyway, coming down the hallway, you do have additional attic access right here. And then you have two bedrooms. We'll go ahead and go to the one on the end first. So it is obviously set up as an office right now. But plenty of room in here. A little bit smaller than the one that we just walked into. And then you have the closet. Nice step-in closet. And then from here, you have the master bedroom right around the corner. So this one sits towards the back of the home. Nice big space. Nice deep walk-in closet in here also. So plenty of room. You can get two or three of me in here. It'd be a little close, but <laughs> it's me, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> and then you have uh, into your ensuite, you have a shower right here, a couple foot stools on either side of the shower. And then you have a double vanity and two medicine cabinets, which is nice. And then around the corner, you have your toilet and another window. And then I wanted to show you real quick, right behind the door, you do have a linen closet. 
All right, y'all let me know what you think about this helmet down in the comments. I love these accent shelves in the fireplace. Beautiful. If you want any more information on this model or Southern New England Modular Homes, I'll leave that information for you in the description. Or you can go find out some more information over at timothyplivingston.com. If you want to check out another one of their beautiful modular homes, go ahead and click on this video right here. And as always, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. My name is Timothy, and I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.